Hello once again everyone, I am playing with Mui with a quick glimpse at the history of me playing with Mui. It's the question that's been on nobody's mind. Who is Antoshi? Well, I might as well go ahead and tell you. Antoshi, which is me, was basically my username before I decided to make playing with Mui. Basically, I had the name since 2002. Uh, what happened was basically back then I was hanging around a whole bunch on AOL at the time. And uh, in AOL, there was plenty of role-playing chat rooms and stuff. And uh, since I was really big into Pokemon at the time, I decided I might as well role-play Ash. You know, that Ash, Ash Ketchum. But, uh, in the spirit of the early 2000s, where basically almost everybody who was really big into anime pretended like they knew everything to know about Japan, I decided to role-play, rather than role-playing Ash, I decided to role-play him as his Japanese name, which is Satoshi. Now, I was going on and doing that for a while, and then, out of the blue, one of my old friends back then decided to make this little group of people who would basically take their names and mix them in with the Japanese Pokemon characters' names, like, basically take the first half of their names and add it to the second half of the, one of the Japanese Pokemon characters' names, and I really can't remember any of the other ones, but I really wanted to be, you know, Ash, Satoshi, so I took Anthony, so I took the ant from that, and I added it to Toshi, and I ran this by my friend, apparently I wasn't really on the list of people to actually get one of those names, and I believe it was a she had told me that that was already taken, but I said, no, nah, come on, I'm really gonna have it, you know, I was role-playing this, and, you know, it's gotta happen. So it did. So I took the name, and then, so unexpectedly, it became a character. And with this character, I decided to start role-playing it. I was hanging around some Pokemon guilds, as they were called back then, where basically people would hang out and have, like, you know, like, role-playing battles and stuff. It was actually pretty cool, despite how lame it sounds. And so I made a bunch of friends there, and uh, then I decided to move on, and I took the name with me. I basically used the name wherever I went. I went to IRC with it, um, and then I decided to just start doing some other random projects. Um, I took the role-playing thing, and I decided to apply it to some silly little fan fictions that I got rid of because they were, like, bad beyond bad. And I also decided to try drawing the character, which had to have a heavy anime influence to it. Which is where the inf inspiration for this little guy came from. How you doing? I mean, yeah, literally, I took it pretty much everywhere I went to go sign up for. I mean, if you just Google the name, you'll find me on a ton of different websites and stuff. Including YouTube. But I think the bigger thing that happened was back in 2007, when I decided to make this comic. And basically, I decided to take the comic and take myself and a bunch of other friends that I had on IRC and I decided to make us all into Mario characters and I called it the Super Antoshio Bros and so I took myself as Mario and a friend of mine as Luigi and then you had Bowser and then I decided to take the princess and I decided to have him be played by a friend of mine who happened to be a guy so the princess was now a guy and this guy who I happen to know for quite some time also happens to be the same sort of ostracizing troll that likes to hang around my videos quite often but regardless of that I had a ton of fun with the comic and uh, I had a bunch of ideas and it was really fun and it was, in my opinion I would say it was pretty funny but the only problem was it was kind of a lot of work to do um, making just one comic page took a ton of effort. And then wouldn't you happen to know that at late in 2008, I decided to have the crazy idea of starting to do YouTube videos, and I decided instead of actually taking the same Antoshi name, I decided to go with something completely different, something that people might remember if they heard it once or twice. So I decided to go with the very interesting and a double entendre worthy name, of playing with Moe. And that is that. That's a little look back on the history of me playing with Moe. And, uh, there's really not much else to say about that. Uh, if you guys want to check out that super awesome comic I made, I decided to put a link to it in the video description so everybody can check it out and uh, see what they think for themselves. But, uh, other than that, that's about it. Just felt like sharing a little something about myself with you, the viewers. Because you guys are so awesome, and I figure, why not? So that is it, and thank you all for watching and listening, 
I will see you all next time.